It is a bit of an irony that a parliamentary select committee presents its report to parliament and days later when it comes up for debate, some vital pages are missing. Now those vital pages are said to be containing incriminating report that will put Professor Njigunandungu's job in line. The fate of Professor Njigunandungu as governor of Central Bank lies on a thin thread after intense debate in the House to adopt or reject a report by the committee formed to investigate the fall of a shilling. The report had recommended his firing, but MPs ran out of time forcing the House to adjourn till Wednesday morning. Wajir West MP Adan Kainan picked up from where he left last Thursday in lashing out at Professor Ndungu's policies at Central Bank, saying he no longer fits the bill to head the institution. This has increased. Interest rate today is the highest in the world. Kenya is the highest. The shilling was the most unstable currency in the world. Our governor has been voted as the worst performing governor in Africa. He's condemned already. Even if we don't catch him here, the other report was already passed in this parliament. He is not fit to hold a public office passed by this parliament, including one other minister sitting in front of us, Mr. Speaker. So far, the embattled governor's only hope lies in the support he's getting from MPs who feel the report's recommendations were too harsh on the governor. If at all Mr. Dungu was responsible, then he has redeemed himself by the appreciation of the shilling. He has redeemed himself. In fact, we need to commend him. We need to commend him for a job well done. If at all he was responsible. Was the governor in charge of controlling the nation? Do you want to blame the governor for that, Mr. Speaker? If you look at the question of post-election violence, was the minister, the, are you, do you want to blame the governor for the post-election violence? The problems in the, in, uh, the Middle East, war in Somalia, Mr. Speaker. Are you, do you want to pile all this to the governor of the Kenya Central Bank, Mr. Speaker? Why do we want to think that the banks are doing anything wrong when they are doing business? They are in business. Yes, they are in business. The parliamentary committee has accused Tundungu of failing to hold the fall of the shilling from an average of 80 shillings to the dollar in October to 107 shillings in November last year. The governor has also been blamed for protecting banks which allegedly borrowed cheaply from the CBK. The bankers are literally thieves in this country, stealing from Kenyans in broad daylight. Mr. Speaker, it would be a sad day if this house could sit here and reject this report. I'm sorry to say that we have no confidence in the governor and he is an honest man, I hope, but he's a professional and is a very qualified man. Erono Cheng, KTN Prime.